something happened here last night that moved us very deeply. It was so far outside our experience as Australians and so inextricably interwoven with the atmosphere of this place that we'll find it very difficult to convey to you in an Australian living room, but we'll try. We were brought to this tiny native village from Maliana because we were told that Maliana was not safe at night. When we arrived, the second in charge, who speaks very little English, came to us and in a halting but urgent way said the commander wanted to speak to us. And then for the next hour, sitting on woven mats under a thatched roof in a hut with no walls, we were the target of a barrage of questioning from men who know they may die tomorrow and cannot understand why the rest of the world does not care. Why, they ask, are the Indonesians invading us? Why, they ask, if the Indonesians believe that Fretland is communist, do they not send a delegation to Dili to find out? Why, they ask, are the Australians not helping us? When the Japanese invaded, they did help us. Why, they ask, are the Portuguese not helping us? We're still a Portuguese colony. Who, they ask, will pay for the terrible damage to our homes? My main answer was that Australia would not send forces here. That's impossible. However, I said we could ask that Australia raise this fighting at the United Nations. That was possible. At that, the second in charge rose to his feet, exclaimed, Camarada journalist, shook my hand, the rest shook my hand, and we were applauded because we are Australians. That's all they want, for the United Nations to care about what is happening here. The emotion here last night was so strong that we, all three of us, felt we should be able to reach out into the warm night air and touch it. Greg Shackleton at an unnamed village, which we'll remember forever in Portuguese Timor.